There are two important free decisions I don't want you messing up on in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Let's talk about it. Now, so, so, so family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you're watching this one or having a wonderful start to your Friday. Hope you have a great weekend, and without further ado, let's get it started now real quick before we get into this video on the screen right here is the hidden egg for today in madden 24 ultimate team play the solo challenge you see on the screen and that will give you a random egg in madden 24 it's that simple and if you want to know where the hidden egg location is tomorrow hit that red subscribe button down below i showcase where the free egg is every single day now let's get started with choice number one and that's going to be what decision you should be making from the epic option pack in madden 24. now the way this pack works is very simple at certain season levels in madden ultimate team you're going to get these epic option packs and as you guys can see right here, at season level number 32, there's one epic option pack for free. At season level number 28, there's another epic option pack for free. You get a lot of these as you go through the field pass. And I want to make sure you're making the right decision when you open this pack up. Now, the way this works is very simple. You open this up and there's multiple different options of packs you can pick. Now, option number one is going to be a star elite pack. Option number two is a pro playmaker. We've got a pro max fantasy. We've got a mystery pack as well as two X playmaker packs. Now, just working from right to left, let's talk about what you should consider as well as what you should absolutely not touch with a 10-foot pole. And no, I'm not talking about Xerxes. That man does not shower. You will not want to be close to him. <laughs> now, I'm just messing around. The first option is two Playmaker packs, and I'm not going to lie. I don't love this option. What I'm trying to do when I open up packs in Madden Ultimate Team is I'm looking for big cards. Realistically, with the state of the market right now, 88s, 87s, 86s, pulling a lot of those players is not going to put you in a good situation. You're trying to get that one big boy pull because those actually give you a decent amount of coins. So Playmaker packs, I'm out on on mystery packs i am 100 out on the best thing you can pull from a mystery pack is a star elite so why would i pick the mystery pack if the best thing i want is a star elite pack if i open the mystery pack right here i could literally pull like a gold plus player i would not suggest that then these three packs right here are really the ones i would consider the star elite the pro playmaker and the pro max fantasy but again with the philosophy that i was just talking about the pro playmaker pack right here is likely going to be giving you a bunch of like 86 to 90 overall cards kind of the same with the pro max fantasy the star elite though this gives you a chance at a really high pull and that's realistically how you're going to generate more coins when you're opening packs because again like I said before those 86s 87s 88s just don't sell for almost anything right now so in my opinion the best decision you want to make is the star elite pack from the epic option let's open this one up and see what we can pull let's see if we make a good decision I think we get a 91 plus overall player in here hopefully it ends up being like a 93 plus first card's gonna be an 82 Andy Dalton I cannot believe I watched Andy Dalton play start and quarterback for my favorite team and legitimately thought we were going to make the playoffs or win a playoff game. I'm deluded, brother. 82 Andy Dalton to start right here. Card number two is a big boy legend. This is probably the 91 plus. Okay, 87 Fred Taylor. We still have one big slot and this is going to be it right here. Who's it going to be? 92 Luke Farrell. Okay, not the best pull, not the worst one. In terms of coin value, this is making us about 29k. So realistically, this pack is going to be earning about 35 in total. But again, like I said, I do believe this is the way to do it. We got one more epic option pack to open up right here. Of course, I could go with the Plo Playmaker. I could go with the Plo Max Fantasy Pack, but I believe this Star Elite is the way to go, especially if you get like a 94 plus overall pull. That's what we're looking for. I'd love to just sniff a 94 plus overall pull what a weird thing to say what am i saying let's just open this pack up i'm not gonna get something good after making a weird comment like that i just don't think i'm gonna oh this could be a 95 okay 95 herb utterly let's get it baby girl and an ultimate legend 90 overall steve smith but herb utterly 95 overall is a wonderful pull and again that's why i suggest these packs you need a big pull to make coins you don't want to go through and pull 86s pull 87s they're just not putting you in a spot to make coins you need to get a big boy pull if you really want to make coins while you're opening up packs in Madden 24, just based on the way the market is, even a 90 overall is only 10k. That's why I think it's worth it to go through and open up the Star Elite or pick the Star Elite from your free option. All right, decision number two. This is a very, very important one as well. We're going to be opening up our season number five set token pack. Now, boys, as you guys can see, I'm going to be getting my fourth and final set token collectible. This is going to give me a free 97 overall player. Now, before we talk about that, on the screen right here is the Luka Doncic special for NBA action over on Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy, if you did not know, is a place where you can make higher or lower player picks on the NBA. And as you can see, Luka's line has been set to 0.5 points, meaning if he scores one point, you win. Now, if you want access to that special, it's going to be available all weekend over on Underdog Fantasy. So I'll leave it linked down below in the description. Click that link to download the app. It'll take you to the app store. And then right after you download the app, it's going to ask you to put in a promo code. If you put in my code, which is code SWIFT, that matches your first deposit up to 100 
$1,000 and it gives you the special Luka Doncic 0.5 points line. Check it out if you're interested. It's linked in the description. All right, getting back on track. It is season set token pack time. As you guys can see, we're going to the core set within the sets right here, or that's not actually where you want to go. I don't know what I'm talking about. We got to go to season five. What am I saying? <laughs> now, yeah, going on over to the season pass program, we're going to see the 97 overall BND player fantasy pack. Now, again, to get this, I believe you got to get up to level number 36 in the season pass. And this is going to give you a set list of 97 overall cards. Every single person watching this video is going to get the exact same player. So I can go through here and tell you who you should pick. Now, every card is going to be a redux and Tariq Willen is the first one we're going to pull. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That is a majestic, beautiful card. Sexy Dexy at center. We got Derwin at strong safety. Rashad Jones at free safety. We're going to have Ed Two Tall Jones. Vernon Davis right here. There's very, very good cards in this pack, boys. It's all reduxes. We got Patrick Willis and then we got Aaron Rodgers as well as Michael Irvin. Now, to me personally, there are four options to consider. Number one is Dexter Lawrence himself. And again, this is not a sexy pick. I know they call him Sexy Dexy. This is not a sexy pick. For me personally, I don't think this is the move. If you're using Team Captain Kevin Mawai, you don't necessarily need this card at all. If you're not using Mawai, sure, you can pick Sexy Dexy, but I think most people probably are. Then Derwin James, Rashad Jones, as well as Ed Tutal Jones, I'm not a huge fan of. Vernon Davis is definitely going to be an option at 97 speed. I think he's really, really solid. For me, though, again, I'm using the free Jordan Reed card, and Jordan Reed is actually really, really solid. 96 speed can get boosted to 97 rather easily. Vernon is a good option. I would rank him number four. And then at the number three spot, we got Harrison Phillips. Picking Harrison Phillips is really just an overall play. If you're in a situation where you have like a 97 overall team, take Harrison Phillips. Otherwise, I don't suggest it. I know getting a BND defensive tackle sounds decent because again, this card can just be in your lineup all year, but there's cards that are actually going to give you a lot more value and should be used in your lineup instead of Harrison Phillips. Now, card number two is an example of a card that is going to give you much more value, and that is Michael Irvin himself. Michael Irvin at 97 speed, six foot two, 97 catch in traffic, 97 spectacular catch, 97 short route running, 97 medium route running. EA Sports just went copy pasta right there, and then 94 deep route running. So this card is an absolute dog. Michael Irvin is someone to consider, but the number one player, and I think the number one player without even much of a consideration is Tariq Woolen. Tariq Woolen has 98 speed. This card is almost endgame. Him and Marshawn Lattimore are basically an endgame duo. 96 acceleration, 98 jumping, 98 man, 98 zone, 97 press, 91 play rec. And the thing that's so good about Tariq Woolen, in my opinion, is the fact that he gets the zone archetype, meaning he's going to get a crap ton of discounted zone abilities. And if you guys didn't know, those zone knockouts are probably the most overpowered thing right now in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. So getting as many of them as possible and getting them for the cheapest price possible is something Tariq Willen's going to give you. I'm going to pick Tariq Willen right here. And this is the card I suggest to about 95% of people watching this video. 5% of people could go with Harrison Phillips if you have an insane team. Another 5% of people could maybe pick between Irvin and Vernon Davis. But to me, it's Tariq Willen. So those are the two decisions I want you guys making and not screwing up on in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Go through, I think, pick Tariq Willen from your season option pack as well as from those epic option packs we went through and talked about the best pack to select, which in my opinion is the Star Elite that made us a nice bit of coins in this video. And that's going to do it for me. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, boys. Love y'all. I'm out. Enjoy your weekend. Check out Underdog Fantasy if you want to. They're honestly the absolute goats. And I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.